To install the Jacob Rope Systems webnet, the following tools are needed. Cable ties. Battery-powered swaging tool. Wire rope cutter. Webnet swaging tool, type 1. Perimeter rope. Please roll up the net and place it in front of the frame. First, attach all four corners of the net onto the frame with the cable ties. Be careful not to over-tighten the cable ties. The net must have some space in the frame. Attach a cable tie every meter on the upper and lower tube or rope. After you're done with the top and bottom, attach a cable tie on the vertical side on every other diamond. When working with smaller diamond nets, attach a cable tie every third diamond. Pull the web net eyes on the vertical sides to the frame. Now attach cable ties every second or third diamond on the horizontal side. If the net is in the correct position, Tighten the cable ties on the horizontal sides as well, so that there is a good tension on the mesh. Proceed to measure the length of the perimeter rope. Usually, this is approximately two to three times the size of the entire frame. The perimeter rope shouldn't be longer than five meters. Otherwise, you'll have some difficulties to install it. If more than one rope is used, connect them using a loose sleeve. Watch the corresponding video for further instructions. Start with the threading on the top of the frame, right in the middle, using half of the perimeter rope. To avoid slipping of the rope, swage on a sleeve. Install the rope loosely, not too tight. Be careful while threading the rope. Make sure to thread it from left to right. It is important to make an additional loop around the corner before you go through the sleeves. As a result, the net will have good tension on the corner. The ends of the perimeter rope must be threaded through the last sleeve. Pull the perimeter rope as tightly as possible so the net is well tensioned. Make sure that the web net sleeves are tensioned equally on the sides to the tube or cable. Single sleeves can be swaged. Position the sleeve with the ends of the rope in the middle of the mesh diamond and swage it. Cut off both rope ends as short as possible with the rope cutter. Cut the cable ties. Position the rest of the loose sleeves exactly in the middle of the diamond and swage them. You can find further information and assembly instructions at jacob.com.